Welcome to Look Local. I'm Karen Adams. This is the place where we showcase businesses in North Florida and South Georgia. We do that by reminding you if you're looking for something to do or for someone to help, it is always better to look local. This week, Realty Executives Oceanside, we're going to show you how to get your home sale ready. Plus, we're going to show you some special local listings that the company has right here. They're fabulous. You won't want to miss it. And 904thin.com, helping you to lose weight and get healthy at the same time. Anita Hiles, owner of Realty Executives, Oceanside is ready to meet all of your real estate needs. She's here today to tell us how to get your home sale ready if you're looking to put one on the market. And we'll also see some of her very unique and fabulous listings. So we can't wait to get into that. Welcome back, Anita. Hi, Karen. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. All right. Let's start off with talking about a very important thing. If, if you're getting ready to put your home on the market, and at some point everyone is, what do we need to do to get our homes ready to go and get them sale ready, as they say? Well, first, the most important thing is the exterior of your house. Okay. It is so important to get the landscape mm -hmm. situated and uh, trim them down, get to lawn mode. Okay, um, that's the curb appeal that we that we talk about so much. And absolutely. this is what it looks like from the outside when you drive by. First yes. impressions make a lasting impression. And here is case in point. What are we looking at this, here? This is a beautiful home uh, in Winfield Lakes mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, fantastic. It's got beautiful curb appeal. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, they've cleaned up the front yard. Uh, power washing is always good. Okay touching up the front door, mm -hmm. making that front door inviting, and always have a, a new uh, mat, a welcoming mat for the front door. Exactly. It's always awesome. And this one here has, that looks like they've put down fresh mulch. They've also trimmed the palm fronds, which are yes. so important to do. Um, and Winfield Lakes, that particular area is centrally located in the Intracoastal West area. Yes. That is very close to downtown, close to the beaches. That home there is for sale, as you said. So that's a nice area yes. to go to as well. Let's look at some more of the outside curb appeal landscaping. And this one's a beauty. It is a beauty. And what's fantastic is a lot of people don't realize that most homes are bought at the curb. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that some people that are, uh, that are watching mm -hmm. have had the experience when they've been out looking at homes. Right. When they pull up front, they go, I don't want to see this one. Okay, right. Okay. I'll admit <laughs> yes. that I've done that I've before. done that too. I don't, yeah, want, exactly. I don't want to go inside that. It's like, Ew. I don't want to go in there. And inside <laughs> could be fantastic, mm -hmm. but first impressions is everything. Right. So it's important to have that outside looking, looking good. Okay, and that one we saw too as well had some beautiful... Um, landscape lighting and I can't tell you how important that is if you have sure. an opportunity to get those lights in, and you can pick those up at Home Depot or one of the big box stores anywhere and even do it yourself it makes it so easy but to get them up on those palm trees and to get them on the bushes at night it looks great it looks fantastic okay great let's see what else we have here the kitchen and the baths are always a big area where people want big to selling start. point okay. big selling point and it's so important to declutter mm -hmm. we like to have only two things on the counters in, in the kitchen area and very few things in the bathroom area. But as you can see how clean that kitchen looks, it almost looks like a model home and yes. it's not. Okay. People actually live in this home. Mm -hmm. And so, but we want to, a lot of times today we're competing with that new construction. Mm -hmm. So it's important for the house to look stellar. It mm -hmm. really is. Okay. And uh, it doesn't look like make, it's not lived in really, really. Right. And, and it, you don't have to, it doesn't have to look brand new. It's mm -hmm. just looking clean. And tidy and tidy absolutely and and declutter is so important because okay. people are going to open everything they're going to open the drawers closets they're going to look in everything pantries so clean out the drawers if you have the toothpaste sure. and toothbrushes always keep them you know together and like in, a, right. in casings and so forth because like you do you feel like you're being interrogated when people come yes. into the house you leave and people everybody's going through your stuff well, what happens is that if it's cluttered cluttered then people feel that there's not enough room when they're looking at the house, they go, oh, there's not enough room. It's an impression thing. It is. Or a and perception so, thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they don't want to buy it because it looks cluttered. They're thinking their stuff is not going to fit in it. Mm -hmm. So people have to remember that we're selling the real estate of the house. So sometimes it's good to pack. Mm -hmm. Pack those light items that you're not using very much. Pack them up in boxes and put them in the garage. That way your home looks 
very nice and ready to ready to, for someone to purchase it. That's a very good point. And that can also be even more challenging if you have children, especially small children, that want to get everything out and throw it all over the house. But, Absolutely. <laughs> but you have to do that. What do people do with their animals if they do have animals? That's a question that I've oftentimes wondered about. What do you tell them for that? Uh, this is a tough one because, uh, and you know, you've met my dog, Jake. <laughs> I love, I love Jake. Jake. I yes. love Jake. Yeah. Yes, that he's usually at the office as well. Right. But in our homes, when we're trying to sell uh, our homes, people do not want to smell our animals. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we, as the owners, don't smell it. Mm -hmm. But people walking in do. So it's, it's important that if you have a cat litter box, that you put it in, in an area that it's not going to be exposed. Mm -hmm. You make sure that it's clean every day mm -hmm. so it doesn't smell like cat litter. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and just keep it tidy. A right. lot of times we have a gal on our team, um, Cindy Kane, that we send out, and she will clean the home. And you will never guess that an animal was ever in there. That's she, great and to know that yeah. that realty so executive lot, yeah. offers that option as well. Absolutely. Good. So yeah. sometimes just having that house cleaner come in and to maintain it during the time that the house is up for sale a lot of times uh, it'll, it'll sell the house. Mm -hmm. We actually took a listing that had expired and um, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. No one ever told the seller mm -hmm. that it smelled like dog. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to hurt their feelings, I guess. Exactly. But, you know, hey, the truth is the truth. If they know about yeah. it, they can correct the problem. What was great is we had Cindy come over. We got the listing. Right. We had Cindy come over. You would never have guessed. Wow. But there That's... was an animal, and it ended up selling after being on the market for over six months. Yeah, sometimes... We sold it in a short amount of time. And you guys tell the truth. That's what I like oh, about yeah, you. You, yeah. know, you get right to the point. They don't pull any punches. Uh, no, you, you can't. You want to sure. be honest about it. All right. Um, we want to show some new construction, and then we'll go to the break and come back. Let's show this. This is yes. actually, I want people to look at this, because this is actually the front of a home that is under construction. But wait until you see what is in the back. This is the back. It is a back house that is associated with that front house. Now, this may not look like much, but wait till you see what's inside. Wow, right? You've got all these gorgeous. beautiful curtains, gorgeous. It looks like the brand new uh, wood floor, probably. Everything's the, oh, brand new. Yeah, yeah all weatherproof. Mm -hmm. And here's the kitchen. This is in that back house we just showed you that didn't look like much. That's in the Jacksonville Beach area, is that correct? That's Jacksonville Beach, and I'm... I'm uh, Yep. Grateful to announce that we have partnered up with Home Point Developers. Okay. And Howard has been in the business for over 25 years. Great. And uh, his son, they partnered up four years ago. So we have a father and son team that we are working with down in Jacksonville Beach. They're buying a lot of these older homes mm -hmm. and bringing up and cleaning up the neighborhood, and if you will. Them. And yes. it's incredible the work that they do. It is top-notch work. Also, Anita, this is what's going on inside of that front house that we showed. This is a construction that Home Point's doing right now. Is that right? That's correct. And believe it or not, between the front and the back house, it's going to be over 4,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a remarkable. It even has a tower, and it has a sun deck up on top that you can actually walk from the front house to the back house, and it's going to be in a... It, just incredible. Like a catwalk almost. Excellent. Exactly. And this is the front of the house, and we just saw that new construction is that's, happening. And that's inside. part of the tower. Mm -hmm. Home Point Developers has already finished. We've already sold one of their homes in this neighborhood. This one's going to be on the market soon, and I'll keep everyone posted. Okay. And they're going to continue to do work in this neighborhood. So if anybody is interested in perhaps building in this area of, of Jacksonville Beach, they should contact us because... Uh, Home Point Developers is fantastic, top quality. They furnish the homes uh, for, for staging. And most people will end up buying the home with the furnishings because they're top-notch furnishings. Okay, don't go anywhere because when we come back, we have some more listings mm -hmm. to show you. They're incredible, and they will be within your price range. We're going to show you all about that. We're also going to hear about some new ways to make some some extra money if you're trying to do that. Plus, Jacksonville is getting ready to take on Tampa Bay as the Jaguars will be hosting the Bucks. The preseason game will be Thursday at 8 p.m. at Everbank Field. For more information, you can log on to jaguars.com.